plant science innovations, including pesticides, biopesticides, and genetically modified organisms, have revolutionized food and agriculture worldwide. But before a farmer can use these innovations, there are strict regulations to ensure they are safe and effective. These include specific rules around how safety data is generated and used. This is particularly important to ensure the protection of human health and the environment. Guidelines on gathering and analysing safety data have been set by the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, an international intergovernmental organisation. The OECD has established principles of good laboratory practice, a management system which ensures the uniformity, reproducibility and integrity of laboratory studies around the world. These guidelines are adopted and written into national laws where any transgressions can lead to criminal prosecution. Apart from pesticides and GMOs, GLP is used to assess the safety of a wide number of common chemical products, including pharmaceuticals, cosmetics and food additives. GLP covers every step of the testing process, including the study personnel, the test facility, the equipment to perform the studies, documentation of raw data and archiving of records. The testing is either performed in-house by the company bringing forward an innovation or contracted to an outside research organisation that specialises in conducting studies to support regulatory submissions. In both cases, laboratories are accredited under GLP and are regularly audited by government bodies. In GLP accredited laboratories, testing also undergoes quality assurance and quality control to ensure that all data is recorded, all steps in the testing protocol are strictly followed and tests are conducted by GLP trained personnel. When the testing is finished, data, including data related to human health and the environment, must be submitted to the relevant regulatory authority for their review. This will then be used as part of the regulator's own independent process to evaluate the studies in order to register or reject a product for use. The ultimate goal is to bring innovative, safe, effective and sustainable tools to farmers so they can grow a healthy crop.